The Stormcast Eternals are the God King Sigmar's chosen immortal warriors. These men and women resisted chaos to the last. Sigmar looked for these champions to be saved, and brought them on bolts of lightning to the realm of Azure, just before their death blow was dealt. Not all of these champions were said to be willing servants, and yet all would face the trials of reforging all the same. It was the strongest, boldest and most stoic that would be selected to join Sigmar's elite warrior force. The process of reforging is incredibly trying, which breaks all but the strongest of willed. It was inspired by the reincarnation of the great Drake Dracothian's children, Sigmar and Grungi creating this process to create a virtually immortal human army. The chosen warriors are taken on bolts of lightning to Heldenhall, where they feast and drink for three days. This allows the warriors to build their strength and endurance reserves, whilst sharing tales of their epic adventures. Once the final hour is struck, the warriors must leave the feasting halls and march to the Tower of Apogee. This tower is located on the outer ring known as the Sigma Rebellum. The warriors are first greeted within the Chamber of the Broken Worlds. This chamber is of incredible scale and topped with a great glass dome. The structure is split into three tiers of trial. Each of these tiers sits on a gargantuan clockwork platform. These are perpetually moving around the central core of the room. Guiding the entirety of this process are the scions of Grungi the Great Smith God, known as the Six Smiths. The Smiths guide the souls of the Chosen as they endure the trials. A warrior's first trial is to stare upon the fires of the Forge Eternal. These are the fires of creation and are kept eternally bright by the celestial servants of the Six Smiths. The Chosen must walk into the massive Forge's flames and allow their bodies to be reduced to soul stuff. This process burns the mortal impurities and weaknesses away, cleansing any former deeds that the warrior had committed. Once the impurities of humanity have been seared away from the souls, they are now ready for rebirth. However, not all warriors pass this first test, and in fact, many do not. Those that did survive, however, are now imbued with a celestial energy, and slowly the number of souls that are ready to face the next challenge grow from hundreds to thousands. The second trial within the Chamber of the Broken World is known as the Cairns of Tempering. Seven stones which the Smith God himself has plucked from Malice, the burning comet of the world that was. These stones are giant rocks, with veins of Sigmarite coursing throughout. The souls of the Chosen must pass through each cairn in turn, facing a uniquely selected challenge devised by Grungi himself. The challenges vary depending on the background and talents of the individual, for only the most worthy can join the ranks of the Stormcast Eternal. Champion swordsmen will face challenges that will not only test their swordcraft, but also their resolve in the most dire of circumstance whereas the wizards will be tested on their knowledge of the arcane and their strength of arm. Only once a soul has passed through all seven of the cairns and received the approval of Grungi that they may now move to the final tier of the tower. The final of the three tiers is a maelstrom of noise, for within this chamber the great anvil of apotheses sits. This altar of pure sigmarite, rent from the core of malice, from Sigmar himself, shines brightly. This altar of pure Sigmarite has been rent from the core of Malice by Sigmar himself, and shines brightly central to the room. The enchanted anvil smoulders with heat of the world that was, and sits atop a dais shaped to resemble the High Star. This chamber of the tower contains many workshops and smithies manned by the six smiths and once a soul has entered this area, they will be reshaped by them with the fury of lightning itself. These souls are spread and shaped until the lightning and stardust begins to form fanes and flesh, 
for each strike with the world hammer brings with it life. Eventually, a mortal form is created, and from this, the Stormcast Eternal is born. The process of reforging is not only a process which Sigmar used to acquire his fighting force, this is also a process which has continued to be used to continually replenish his immortal army. The Stormcast that have been struck down are returned to the World Ring, and those that cannot immediately begin the reforging process are stored within Grand Soul storehouses. However, part of reforging is to continually ensure that only the best are chosen to be part of Sigmar's army. This means that the warrior may face the reforging process numerous times depending on how many times they have fell within battle. Should the warrior fail but one of these tests, they will be deemed unworthy, and will no longer be able to rejoin the ranks of the Stormcast. In Sigmar and Grungi's haste to create this immortal fighting force to combat the wave of chaos that has swept the realm, it appears that flaws within reforging have begun to emerge. The process takes an immeasurable toll on the warrior's soul. Often, it is on the anvil of apotheses that these warriors begin to show the scars of this flawed design. Warriors begin to lose parts of themselves, becoming altered in body and mind. Once charismatic figures can become reclusive silent killers over the course of several reforgings. The side effects are numerous, ranging from memory and identity loss, to lightning crackling from the warrior's eyes when furious. Some flaws are more profound in some storm hosts than others, with the anvils of Heldenhammer becoming known for their corpse white skin. Not even the God King's favoured champions were immune to these flaws, with Yenstrada's fury becoming more horrific to view in battle with each of her reforgings, and those such as Neve Black Talon slowly recognising that more of her personality is slowly being lost.